you have noticed that there was some flower beds along this busy road, Auburn, in Rockford, Illinois, mm -hmm. and they were full of weeds. The city wasn't maintaining them. Mm -hmm. And you went out there and pulled the weeds and planted some flowers, essentially. Well, the, it started by going to a community meeting here of Churchill's Grove. And, um, Churchill's Grove being a neighborhood in Rockford. Yes. Okay. Yes. Nice neighborhood here. A lot of kind of quiet. A lot of older people live here. Many people have been here forever, raised their kids, and now their kids are gone, but they have stayed in the neighborhood. Um, but I went to this neighborhood meeting, and the, the focus of the meeting was to identify our assets. Why would people want to come to this neighborhood? Why do we enjoy this neighborhood? So that was the gist of the meeting. But during the meeting, there was a young lady who's brand new into the neighborhood. I've been here about two years, but there's a la young lady who's been here about two months. And she came to the meeting, and in the course of the meeting, she mentioned these flower beds that are built into the sidewalk out on Auburn Street here. There are 14 of them between the roundabout and the river. And I guess, would you say it's about a half mile, maybe? from the roundabout to the river, something like that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Anyway, I have been, uh, I guess the city redid the street, redid the curbs and the sidewalks about four years ago when they put these flower beds in. They're about four feet wide by 12 feet long. They originally, each one had a tree, and I'm told right when they first finished the project, it was the end of the summer and getting close to winter, and they did put some flowers in, I believe but they didn't get established. They were perennials, but they didn't get established, so they didn't live. A lot of the trees are gone now, too. So um, I guess with all the cutbacks and money as tight as it is, the city hasn't felt like they had money to maintain them. So I was walking. I like to get out and walk and get some exercise, and I, I drive that way every day to work, but then I usually walk in the evening, too, and I like to walk down Alcom Street. I'd been walking by these weed beds. The weeds were up three feet high. And every time I'd pass one, I kind of complained myself in my mind that we in this city aren't taking care of what we've already got, you know. And But yet I, I didn't do anything about it. I'd walk by them every night and every night and every night. And I was kind of kind of troubled by it. And uh, But yet I, I'm not troubled enough to do anything about it. So I go to this meeting, this neighborhood meeting, and somewhere during the course of the meeting, this new young lady in the neighborhood mentions these flower beds. Well, why, who's supposed to take care of them? Why aren't they taking care of them? I was actually felt kind of embarrassed because I had watched them all summer, but yet I hadn't even fixed up one of them, you know, right here next to my house or anything. So I uh, decided I was going to fix one up, and uh, I liked the way it looked, and it made me feel good doing it. So I did another one, and then I did another one. And um, that young lady then, she did a couple of them. She did a couple more, so between the two of us, we had done seven of them now out of the 14. So I had had pretty much my fill of planting flowers, and it's not the planting that's so bad, it's the um, getting the weeds out right, and then the soil is just terrible. How, how do you get the weeds thing. out right? I'm just pulling them by hand. Okay. Mainly pulling them by D hand. Or digging them up if they're... Or digging them up if they're too deep and you can't quite pull them by hand. Yeah. But the soil is terrible. <clears throat> and you can't hardly, you know, it's not like you can dig it and turn it and bust it up or anything. Right. It's just real. There's a lot of clay in it, evidently. And um, so that's the hardest part is to get, get it ready to plant. So anyway, um, it wasn't too awful much in cost burden to get it done. It was mainly a, a kind of a time thing. But um, I had had enough. I was tired of it. But my friend, Saeed, down at the little grocery store, he's trying to establish a grocery store here in the community. And um, he saw me doing it, and he and I talked. I stopped in the store. He's a real nice man. And he said, if you would take care of getting the job done he says I would buy all the flowers and the potting soil and the mulch everything it takes to do the other nine and he owns a business here in he has the little grocery store he's trying to make a go of it it's really uh -huh. tough he's got a little grocery store just down by the roundabout yeah. yeah, Northwest Foods. His name is Saeed. So Rick, it's, Rick put in your, your mind? He started with two bucks and bump it in my head. I, I told Rick, I donate the flower and we flower the whole boxes. And we agree about it. I buy the flower, 
with the mount and the sword, and we bring it over. We put it in brick house. And second day, we have uh, Muslim community center send the people, flower it with Rick, with some people from the neighborhood. Okay, so you were telling me that, you were telling me that the plan is as long as you're here, you're willing to pay to for the, the flowers as yep. long as there's volunteers yep, to exactly. do the work. It's uh, our plan. I hope I get better business and we provide my business more because as much I have a business, I could do more for the community. But at this time, I donate the flower and I try to do in the future more stuff for the community because like I say, the community, it's a home. It's so my home. What, what inspires you to do a selfless act for others that does not directly uh, impact you? Actually, I'll be honest with you, I can't judge anybody, but I know one thing, we all family and the uh, community is family. And we all work to provide our community to better way and for providing more to show up clean and the flower and everything. So anyway, I told him that I would help him. I'd, I'd do anything he'd ask me to do. He's that nice a guy. <laughs> and um, so he gave me money and I went and bought all the flowers. And uh, one of the greenhouses, Didier's, out on West State Street helped us. They gave us some flowers and gave us some discounts on flowers and what have you. And fortunately, it's right at the time of year when uh, all I was doing, I wasn't investing in good perennials or anything. Yeah. But I was buying the annuals, and the annuals were, you know, I could get those for $5. Well, what's five. the difference between the perennial and an annual? A perennial comes back year after year, generally speaking. Okay. And an annual just lasts one year. It dies off, then you got to replace it. Okay. So anyway, I, uh, I borrowed a trailer from work, and I got, let's see, the trailer was 20 feet long by 8.5 feet wide, and I filled it with flats of annual flowers brought them out here put them underneath this tent right here to take care of them for a couple three days and then we put out a call to the neighborhood to come and help and got a little bit of response um, the neighborhood's already taken care of the end caps over here on Harlem Boulevard yeah there's real nice flowers on yeah, the end of I each think, of those islands down yeah. through the middle of the street yeah the boulevard the boulevard yes. yeah so anyway but a few people came to help us and then Saeed has some connections he's uh, involved he is a Muslim and at the Muslim Community Center, there were some kids involved there, some type of little, little youth group type thing. So he had some parents and some of the kids come out. So on a Sunday, we worked, oh gosh, probably four hours. And it was one of the worst, hottest days. It was like 95 <laughs> degrees and high humidity. And they were troopers. And um, so we worked on a Sunday and got part of them done. And then we finished them up here this week. Okay. So um, anyway, so a lot of people have been involved. I met some new neighbors that I didn't know before that was really nice. And the task now is to keep them water because we haven't been having much rain. Fortunately, it rained Friday evening, so that really helped a lot. But we've yeah. all, there's probably, I think there's about seven of us that are carrying water because it's all out here. There's one lady who lives near one. She can run her hose, but everybody else has been carrying water. And then I was speaking of meeting people, I met a man who is a landscaper, and he gave us some more flowers. Oh, so wow. So we've been putting some more out today, uh, kind of filling in some places that, that we didn't fill in. Uh, so what do you think about problem. everyone? Uh, com it started out with the project that you started, and now everyone hears about it, and they're starting to contribute what they can. And Yeah, are you familiar with Nextdoor? Yeah. Social media site yeah. next door. Yeah. I think there, what's it say, there's four or 500 people on next door just from our little uh, community here of Churchill's Grove, our neighborhood. So that's a way to get the word out, and lots of people have, you know, uh, so, so you've, you've to say thanks for you've known, you've, you've actually met people due to that social media site? Yes, I met some uh, very nice people who come out and help do the flowers. Um, one lady's brand new down the street. She came down, just gave me $20 to help pay for things. And uh, so it's, it's been a good, good little project. So literally, I think I would sum it up as that you're inspiring, uh, putting a positive impact in the world today, and it's growing much like a plant. Yes, but remember Sarah started it. The young lady named Sarah yeah. simply asked about it, and that were kind of, you know, well, you're that was the first spark. Where she asked, she asked who takes care of it. Yeah. You asked the question. 
you know, someone should do something about this. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute, I'm someone. Well, what can you tell me about that for, moment? For me, then, I have to mention my faith, okay? okay. I'm, I'm a, I would call myself a Christian, and I, I kind of believe, and I don't do this all the time, but I believe that we should do what God directs us to do. And I think that God, a lot of times, God puts things on our heart to do. And I really think this was, was something that God put on my heart to do. It wasn't, wasn't really all of me. Um, sometimes I just, you know, you just want to do something, and it's uh, not necessarily maybe something God wants you to do. But in this case, I felt like God put it on my heart to do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of a response to that. I like that answer. Yeah. And fortunately in my past, along the, the time, I used to farm and do different things. So I know how to plant a flower. I'm not a, a expert by any means, but I know how to plant a flower. And so I was prepared to do that and, and a willingness to work and have learned in the past how to, you know, handle a shovel and a rake and and uh, things of that nature. So Yeah. So how is anyway. the how is the workout doing for you then? The workout is great. As I get older, and I have kind of a 80% of the time desk job, and uh, I'm going to turn 65 this year, and I'm not, my knees are bad, so I don't run anymore. I used to run and play basketball, and I can't do that anymore, so I like to walk, uh, but it's not the same, and I haven't been getting enough exercise, so I weigh about the same thing I used to all through life, but now it's kind of more in my belly than it is in my shoulders and arms. So anyway, in the summer, um, or coming off of winter, I, I don't exercise as much in the winter, and I had put on a little weight. So through this last two weeks, I have lost about eight pounds. So that was, that was kind of good, too. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and I feel better, and I'm sleeping good. Well, so, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of good things coming. I know you're working out, though. I see out there working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's great. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you very much.